Years ago, I kept a top bar hive. That's a horizontal hive. But today, we're going to open up this box and look at this, hopefully, beautiful horizontal hive specially made for us. If you've never heard of a horizontal hive, typically your Langstroth hives are vertical. That means that they go up and down, the bottom deep, another deep, a super, boom. Horizontal hive means that they go this way. And I've heard a lot of people say when you get older, it's much more easier on the old back to work a horizontal hive. Well, that'd be one hive that'd be easier. I got all the other ones that's still gonna break my back. Let's get the old pocket knife out and take a look. Yeah. Wow, what am I looking at? Oh, look at that, some custom paint. Wow, take this foam off. Ooh, look at that top. Okay, so that's the back, look at that. Maybe some damage and shipping on this corner right here. I, I kind of don't think that was supposed to be buckled like that, but it looks like we'll survive that little mess. But look at this front, wow. <laughs> look at that, woo. Oh good, it came with legs. Okay, will it fall back or catch? All right, there it is, the insides. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it's got a window. Follower board here. Take these out because here's a follower board with a queen excluder material on it. <clears throat> That's cool. I love the painting, look at that. I love it. Once I get it up on the legs, It'd be great to feature this. Now when I say please subscribe, all I have to do is point to this. But what I'm thinking about is if we look over here, this space right here, I think it's pretty wide between this uh, hive over here, the big hive over here with three supers on it. I'm thinking about putting it right here. So I want to put the bees that are in this hive in the horizontal hive. I don't know if I can uh, pull it in position or will the cardboard break off. Oh, I'm on a roll right now. Let's go while we can. Over here, we have two down there and the number one leg goes right here. So my legs are gonna look like this. Uh-oh, running out of battery on the last leg. Look at the artwork of these bees. Wow, I'm gonna tell you more about the company that made this for me and how they hand painted it, hand made it uh, as we go on into showing you more about this hive, but today we're putting it together. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is take the frames out of this hive here and move them over here. It's gonna be pretty similar. The entrance to this hive is on the other side and it's a few inches taller. It looks different. The bees are gonna be confused, but it's close enough. They're gonna figure it out. So let's transfer the frames in here to this bad boy. All right, now let's put a follower board back here where we're not gonna put any more frames for a while. I'll let that kind of grow back this way. All right, let's see about some inner covers. That's pretty cool to be able to see the bees. All right. Let's close it up. All right, can one man move this? Uh.
it's working. That was my toe. Whew. Man, look at them. They've already found the entrance like crazy. I'm not even in totally in position yet. All right. Keep going. All right, that's pretty much uh, close to where they were going in. Um, I'm gonna keep these closed because I don't, I want them to learn the new entrance. What's up? Yeah. Wow, I think this really worked out a lot better than I thought. I uh, was afraid that they'd never figure it out, but um, yeah, they're coming and going, so that's pretty awesome. That looks very cool in the new apiary for sure. I want to show you what I'm doing. I've got a hive here that is Anel, the Anel hive, so I'm playing around with that. Of course, I got the Flow hive here doing some uh, experimentation, playing around with the flow hive. So I've got an Apime hive here, got the horizontal hive here, and I have everyone's favorite, the circle hive. There she blows, still going strong. Look at that. And then of course, uh, a whole bunch of Langstroth hives. Everybody loves Hive Life. It's a great bee conference and it's awesome. But I'm going to tell you about another one that you got to take in. It's the Eastern Apicultural Society conference that's happening at the end of July. The 68th one. That's how long they've been around. It is awesome. And they have a lot of the Hive Life uh, well-known speakers like Bob Beanie, uh, Landy Simone, Dr. Peck, and, and the list goes on. But they have other great speakers that all of you love so much, like Dr. Tom Seeley, myself, I'll be speaking. Just look at the list of speakers. It's great for beginners, intermediate beekeepers, or if you've been beekeeping a long time, there's stuff for you. It's so awesome because at this meeting, a lot of the new scientific research that has been done is going to be shown and talked about at these EAS conferences, you'll want to be there. I look forward to it. I look forward to being there. This is also when we test all the master beekeepers that are trying to be certified as master beekeepers. Looking forward, I'm the team leader for the field testing and I'm getting all that ready with my uh, team that will test 23 candidates this year in the field. Look at the link in the description below. You'll want to be at EAS at the end of July. I'm hoping I'll see you there. Now, if I've piqued your interest in beekeeping, I've got a great video for you I want you to watch. I made a video just for you guys that are new. Look at this, how to start beekeeping. It's a great video with over 1.7 million views. It's gonna help you get started. I'll see you over there.